the channel with GT Sport Beta video. This is now, what is it, day 8 of the beta. And, well, as I've said before, and I'll say it again, it is a really good game. I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying the hell out of this game, man. I mean, I want to take my time. I want to do as much gameplays of this game as possible. So, yeah. And besides, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos if, as well. If you are, leave a thumbs up button. So, what we're going to do today... What I'm hoping we do today is we might actually do a couple of races. I don't know. Wait, hopefully. And maybe unlock a car? We might have to see what happens, but in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, if you want a grant, if you want to keep seeing Gran Turismo Sport on the video, actually on the channel, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. So without further ado, let's get started. So, okay, so right now there are actually... As far as I see, there's actually like two choices, either Grade 4 or Grade 3. And Grade 3 is the Peugeots and all that sort of stuff. We already did a Grade 3 race, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a Grade 4 race and... We're going to bring back the Mustang for a Nürburgring, so... Yeah, we're going to be more power, about 416 brake horsepower. In that V8, but also we may be a little bit heavier with 1,498 kilograms, so that's not so good. Also, the fact that we're in the Nürburgring for this race is kind of a kind of meh. It might have has its own faults. And besides, we've got 10 minutes to set a qualifying time, so that should be it. Should be more more than enough to actually jump in and go around the track to jump in and go around the track and hopefully set a good uh, lap time in, qualifi actually in, in qualifying and uh, rank uh, in a high enough place so anyway alright so there's about 10 minutes until the thing starts as soon as we get into the there we go now, the Mustang, back in the trusty Mustang. Back in the good old Mustang. For, haven't driven this car in quite a while because I've been driving stuff like the Renault Megane and the four, actually in my new car, the 4C, that I, the Alfa Romeo 4C grid for that I have. But I actually still do like this car. And besides, before we start, as always, I am g I am always running on my G Logitech G20 steering rig with the optional gear shifter, whilst in manual as well, and uh, and uh, like no braking assist, no steering assist, just me and the machine the way that it's supposed to be and if we get a good if we get a good enough lap time then I will be amazed I will be thoroughly impressed with this machine and what it can do but then again it won't be the machine's fault it wouldn't be the machine's fault if things went like haywire for this thing. I would honestly blame myself, you know what I mean, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, I would blame myself because the car has absolutely no faults. If anything that goes wrong, total use, total fault to the user. But, am I excited for racing on the Nürburgring? Not really. Why do I say that? Well, I better, well, it's good to like actually start in a high enough position because that way, because if you're in a lower position, you have absolutely 
no hope, well, rarely any hope of overtaking because, as you can see, the track is, no, is so narrow, so small that barely anyone can actually either go inside and get a clean overtake or go outside without a total full-on collision happening. Which, if you can, if you're, if I was to be honest with you right now, collisions, it's, as I said, it's narrow and GT Sport, well, the players so far in the beta that I've, that I've personally encountered with, are Forza players. And by that, what do I mean by that? Well, they, ch they cheat, they crash into, they, they have no skill. Is what I'm trying to say. I mean, no offense to you Forza players. I know you. There are some of you that are good and actually have skill, but it's always just the noobs and the first time players. Once you start to like level up and stuff, then you actually become. You grow as a racer. But. Since there's more casual players, since there's more casual players in Forza, that's where the underlying problems come. Same with this, because people who have um, Xbox 360s and are used to playing Forza, they may have moved to PlayStation and they don't know like Gran Turismo and all that sort of stuff. So. Maybe some of the Forza community, maybe that's why PlayStation and Sony have like made this jump to make it look, well, not look, uh, operates more like uh, Forza because it has a very Forza Motorsport-esque feel. Is that a bad thing? No, but if it defaults to the core like audience or so, then yes, it would be. I don't know. Excuse me, well. Great, thanks for that. Really appreciate it. Besides, uh, but yeah, Forza, yeah, bit too. You gonna? You think? It maybe I don't know. Just yeah, yeah. I figure this. Mm. I will go for Jahadi on your ass. Anyway, as I was saying, the Bird Forza, it's more of a cat. I wouldn't even call that a racing simulator. I call that like a. Arc it's more arcadey, whereas this is more realistic. More realistic, more of an accurate racing simulator. Anyway, enough about Forza and all that. Back to A, this game and B, this car and track. Because... It's been a while since, uh... For those who don't know, it's been quite a while since I've, uh... Driven this car, I mean... Then again, that's because, um... For this grade, I... Are you kidding me? Anyway, as I was saying, I'm more. I usually drive the uh, the Alpha 4C, which I just recently got. Uh, if you want me to, if you want to see me get that and have a little bit of a review and stuff on that, uh, the then be sure to check out the channel because I post well daily. I post daily Gran Turismo sport videos, like daily Gran Turismo Sport beta videos, and I will keep doing that f every day that the beta is actually, you know, on. Like, I will keep doing this until, like, the beta is officially over. Then when it is, whenever the, like, new videos, well, whenever the game itself, the full get retail disc, 
comes out. I will be... Needless to say, it's not exactly... Um, the videos for Gran Turismo Sport aren't really just going to be this beta. Besides, I pre-ordered this game... Uh, collect. I pre-ordered the collector's edition of this game, so... As you can tell, I... I think you could tell that I'm pretty much hyped for this thing. Actually, for this game. I mean... Well, yeah. I mean, what about you guys? Are you guys excited for Gran Turismo? Do you think it's going to be as good as the other ones? Do you think it may be better than Forza, even? If you're an old Xbox player? Uh, I don't know. What do you go What do you guys think of Gran Turismo Sport? And do you think it'll... Actually, do you think it'll be good? So I want to know. Uh... If you think it's, well, whatever your thoughts and opinions, leave a comment down below right now what you actually think that Gran Turismo Sport is going to be like. Because honestly, I think that it's going to exceed my wildest expectations for this game. I mean, I'm hyped as hell because this is my most anticipated game. Well, one of my most anticipated games. The other one being Star Wars Battlefront 2, which hopefully since last year they did a beta for st the first EA DICE Battlefront game. Uh, hopefully they get... Uh, hopefully DICE decide to do one for this one. Well, this new one. Because, so, which means if... If uh, they do, that means I'll definitely apply for it. And if I get a beta code, then I'll definitely uh, do some videos. Because whenever the beta came out, uh, whenever the, gra the Star Wars Battlefront beta came out, uh, a couple of years ago, I believe. Yeah, a couple of years ago, uh, I actually did a video, a sort of like first impressions video about uh, that game and it's actually live on the channel right now so if you want to go see that uh, then please check out the channel and if you like what you see and you're well new to your channel then be sure to subscribe because well be sure to subscribe be sure to you know subscribe and comment down below what you actually want like us to cover because because we cover a wide for variety of different games and stuff, so... I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you have any... Do you guys actually have any suggestions on... Games that we should, uh... Play and stuff like that? If you do... Again, comment down below... Actually, leave a comment down below... On what, uh, we should play. So, it's, uh, now we are actually getting, now qualifying's over, I am getting with several opponents. Hopefully I actually get a, well I start at a high enough price because, well, every single time that, uh, we, you know, start at the bottom, well, near enough the bottom, we don't really end up in high enough place. And since this is Nürburgring and the track is tight like the actual tarmac roads itself are pretty tight it'd be a better thing to it'd be a better thing to actually you know stay there let's see oh this is okay this is interesting so i think yeah i'm seventh out of 18 so i'm more than halfway up uh let's see well no, it goes to 16. Uh, I'm the only... Yeah, I'm the only Mustang. Whereas the rest of the crowd are in GTRs. McGann's. Scirocco's. Hell, there's even a Corvette C7 in there. But, uh... Okay, so... What I'm going to do now is I'm going... 
Since warm up is in progress, I am actually going to warm myself up a bit and actually try and uh, nail some of these corners. Well, practice these corners a bit. Okay, so, yep, this car is very good, very fast, very smooth throughout these corners, which is a good thing. And see, it's able to, it's actually able to catch up to people quite a bit. Because I see, like, Mr. Spaniard in 6th place and whoever that is in 5th place. Okay, so not long now until... Okay, what happened to the 4 seed that was there? What the bloody hell happened to the 4 seed back there? Because... Did that... Did they have a crash? Is somebody being a Forza player? And just totally trying to cheat? Is that what's gonna happening right now? Okay, I think... Yep, the Scirocco may have took that corner a little bit wide. Well, actually, a lot wide. But, uh, okay, so. The time, I think, is 1920, 1925. AK 25 past 7, uh, Greenwich Mean Time. And, well, the race is about to begin. And, hey, you can see me. I'm all the way back in 7th place there, beside the C7, Corvette C7. C, and we are off. Smooth start. That is a smooth, clean start from me. Whoa, whoa. What the hell happened there? Did Scirocco boy behind me just try and take me out? Okay. Yes, I'm improving. I'm improving quite a lot. Okay, Scirocco. Scirocco boy has actually cocked up a bit. Wait. Dang, I slowed down for that corner when I shouldn't have. I may have broke the break a little bit too late. Well, too early, actually. Let's see if we can actually get past Mr. Sor Sorocco over here, because... Yeah, I've got a fair bit of gap away from behind me. All I need to do is concentrate in front. All I need to do is concentrate on the road ahead. Hopefully don't... cock up some of these corners. Okay, yep, see, look at that, 2.1 seconds ahead. Okay, yep, you see what I mean by having a two, like a small, narrow track? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, slow it down here. Break. Breaking. Yes. Coped it. Bit up a little bit too much understeer there, but... Generally, well held in my part. Well held by my part. Okay, 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 okay. Break into second, into third. Okay, there's no way I can get a clean overtake unless he enters this co enters a corner way too fast or understeers way too much he's right there you can just see it right there ladies and gentlemen he's just right there I am officially at a loss cause oh he he went on across a bit that's not really good for him but it is good news for me it is good news for yours truly dear viewers and Sirocco boys trying to catch up. He's caught up quite a bit. Maybe he took those corners actually. Well, took some of those corners actually quite better than he usually would. Okay, wait. Is that for a place? Right in front of him. 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, should have entered first. Should have entered first. Well, entered first gear. That is not first place. Although I wish. <laughs> okay, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Pick up the pace, pick up the pace. Break. What? Okay, that was pretty ballsy of the Scirocco. That was pretty, pretty god dang ballsy. Okay, okay, second gears. Into second. Into third. Am I going for an overtake? Into fourth. Come on. Yes, made it stick. Fifth gear now. I've got a lot of catching up to do. As long as I stay... As long as I stay in fifth place and don't... Cock about, I should... Be... Fine, into sixth. That's Sirocco. I don't like the Sirocco BB. He is pulling... Okay, focus, McKnight, focus. Focus, Saints Knight, focus. Focus, Saints Knight, focus, 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 focus. Focus, 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 focus. Okay, carousel. Not a lot of people know how to take this corner. Yet, I don't as well. God dang it, GTR overtook. You must have taken that carousel quite masterfully. Okay, and into third. Through and through. My only hope is to actually... Well, my only main hope... Is that I actually can... Well, two things. One, I can get them on the like main straightaways. Well, main straightaway like at the end. But... Probably my biggest one would be if they crash or if they like actually keep battling each other for fifth place I can actually swoop in and try and fish it out from underneath them yep GTR but GTR buddy has actually caught up quite severely with the Sirocco that I was battling and I've got another GTR behind me what is it with this what is it with this game and GTRs? Yeah, I get it. I get it, Sony. You're Japanese. But do you have to always love um, GTR? Don't you always have to show GTRs love much? Then again, GTRs are the equivalent of... Well, the Viet motor racing equivalent of Gojira. A.K.A. Godzilla. But okay, breaking, breaking into second. Okay, there was a bit of dust. So wait, Sirocco boy here must have been the one that was on the grass. Oh, okay. You know what? Just concentrate in the race. Don't concentrate in front. Just actually, you know what? Don't concentrate in behind. Just concentrate on the front, on the front, on the front, on the front. Just try and nail. Concentrate on what's in front of me, Saints Knight. Come on, Saints Knight. Come on, Saints Knight. Just concentrate on what's in front of me. Just, just be calm, be cool, and concentrate on what's in front of me. Because I know for a fact that that GTR is just gonna tour past me because he's got the better engine and he's a GTR. But maybe not. I am in a Mustang after all. Straight lines are what this thing's good at. But I highly doubt it because if you... Okay, you could just see, you could just tell already that Sergio 1188 has... Oh, 
Okay, okay. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Alright, just don't let him in. Don't let him in. Don't let him in. Don't let the GTR in. Just don't let him in. Yes! Started 7th, stayed at 7th. Not a bad result. Let's see. Four second penalty. Please tell me that this means I... Wait. Four seconds, so... That would be... Eight minutes 17. Would that mean that I actually... Overall be about sixth? Because I didn't take any penalties. And I did this relatively same amount of time. Hopefully that does. That means I get it a little bit higher because, yeah. 3 minutes 13 is what the guy got. I'm thinking. And I got like 117. So, with the 4 second penalty that he got, hopefully I get a bit higher. But uh, anyway, thank actually, anyway, uh, congratulations Mr. Zygmunt40. You were in a GTR, but you may have been in a GTR, but you were good. No, not even. Are you kidding me now? Are you kidding me now, Gran Turismo? <sighs> but not to worry. We still have our daily, uh, daily workouts. We still get the like around again. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to take a car out that I haven't taken out uh, for uh, like this uh, live sh for any live stream. And that's this, the Audi TTS. Coupe. Now I'm taking this round, Brand Hatch. I'm taking the TT round because I I quite like the TT. It's a well, I like this TT. I don't like the old TTs. I like this one. Anyway, I got anyway. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos because that's why. Well, because well, that's why I make these videos because uh, I make these videos for like people like yourselves to actually. Enjoy and uh, actually for you guys to enjoy and to you know feel at home, you know. I hope actually, hopefully, you guys are feeling at home on this channel. And uh, I don't know, what do you guys think of the, actually thinking of the video slide and putting up? Are you a fan of them? Uh, do you think I need to improve on them? Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know. Down in the comments. Actually, let me know. Leave a comment down below right now. What you think of this channel? And if you're a first, uh, if you're a first timer, a first time, uh, like fewer, will you actually be returning? Will you actually be? Would I consider you to be? Actually, would I be convincing you to subscribe? Anyway, so yeah, if you're enjoying these videos, leave a comment, uh, actually leave a like, uh, and subscribe, and actually leave a comment down below, like, and let me know that you guys are enjoying this, because, well, that's why I do these videos, to enjoy, actually to help uh, entertain my audience, and, uh, yeah. So yeah, ho I hope you guys are enjoying this stuff. Uh, and if you are, please let me know. But anyway, back to this car and this track. We're in Brands Hatch, the like actual full circuit rather than the indie circuit. I like the track. Actually, one of my personal all-time favorite like tracks. Because it's not too hard. Actually, it's not too long, but it's not too short either. It's the perfect balance. Also, it's quite a manu actually quite a good track to actually test out uh, some cars. And speaking of cars, nice we say <laughs> we are in the Audi TTS Coupe. This is the 20... Well, this is a new up to date TT. And honestly... First of all... We have to talk about the style of this thing, because... Wow! 
Wow, I mean, that has... The styling of the TT has dramatically changed from when we last saw it. Because when we last saw it, it I will admit, the TT was kind of a ugly car. It was a... It was a, it was a hairdresser's car. Enough said. It was the perfect embodiment of a hairdresser's car. It was just... All that, and uh, it didn't really live up performance-wise. So, no. So, that was kind of a big problem, because this was promoted as, like, actually, this was promoted as a, like, a sports coupe. Like a two-door, two-seater, or in some, actually, two -door, yeah, two-seater, two-door coupe, sporty coupe car that can compete with, uh, that can compete with the rest that the world has to offer. But that was always, like, it, it, it felt, whoops, disappointing. Yeah, back on the road. Concentrate. Anyway, those cars felt disappointing. Because the engine was lackluster, the style was a bit meh, and the bells and whistles and everything weren't real. Actually, in the inside wasn't really not much of actually not much to look at. It was bare bones. It was just it's like it was made by an accountant. Whereas this, as soon as you just look at it, you can tell things are gonna be totally different. Why? Because the first thing you gotta talk about, the styling. I mean, look at it. It looks like a beast. It looks like a growler. And that's good. You want your, spo you want your sporty coupes to look ferocious, look intimidating. And this, with the right color choice, this actually does look intimidating. Even in this color, it's just... It's got something of an... Uh, like an angry face. Like, I'm angry. And that stuff. So, yeah, it looks like it has, like, a... It looks like it gets... Re it can get really... Really angry. It looks very... Sporty. And it looks... And the good looks don't stop with the exterior. Because inside... First thing you notice as soon as you get into it, the speedometer is well, actually is computerized, like a LFA. This actually the speedo is like the LFAs. It's a speedo with the rev limiter inside the speedometer, or well, speedometer inside the rev, gun, whatever. And well, I actually quite like it. It looks up to date because side today like stuck to their guns and like just slapped on an ADTT um like clock clocks and all on it it would just be like bare bones but this I like also the interior is actually much cleaner more elegant than the the RD itself, well, the old one. And even at the actually, even like everything in the interior, I like is it's spacious, it's good. Actually, it's spacious, it's uh, elegant, it's. Uh, Functional. That's the actually no. That's the keyword. Functional. And you may think functional is a bad thing, but s well, functional with the right set of s in the right set of circumstances, functional is a good thing. But you gotta remember, like, to have a certain limit of functionality on your car to keep it from going stale, going 
going boring. Where is it? And thankfully, this has the right level of functionality. It doesn't suffer from the problems that the 458 Italia does. Like having, or like any modern Ferrari that is, having too much functions. It having too much functionality. And besides, the performance of this thing is really, has been really beefed up compared to the regular TT. As I said, this is the S model, which stands for Sport. Actually, which means that this is the Sport model. And, well, it everything's been much, much improved on the old TT. The brakes are more responsive. The steering is actually more... You feel more... Actually, you, the steering is more alive and responsive than it was uh, several years, actually, like in the previous model. And so... Same with the end, actually, but but then again, there is only one problem with this car, and it is the engine. And don't get me wrong, the thing I don't, the thing that I don't like about this car's engine is definitely not the power, but it is the noise. I mean, if I gotta be honest about this car's noise, it's... It almost sounds like a diesel. Well, it may be a diesel, it may not be. Somebody let me, somebody let me know in the comments if this is a diesel or not. If it is, then, oh boy, then we've got a bigger problem because diesel sports cars should not exist. But, uh, yeah, if it, and if it's a petrol, it sounds like a diesel, and diesel cars don't... Diesel cars don't really generate into good sounding sports cars. And literally that's it really. That is actually the only complaint that I have of this car. The engine noise. But then again, that is kind of a big thing because since this is a sporty manly beefed up car a car's engine no note is part of the car's personality that's why many 911s are duh much more um like charismatic more like have an act more active personality because the engine notes Actually, the engine note signifies that it uh, it punches up with it. It improves on the whole experience. Whereas this, this uh, it puts me off. I mean, I want to feel like I'm in a sporty, like a sporty, like sports coupe. But uh, right now, if I were to just drive it and hear with the engine. Actually, if I was to just drive this car alone and with ignore the engine note, then yes, this would be a good little sports coupe. However, since you can't ignore the engine notes, then I will have to give this a pass. I mean, there are better cars out there in the market, and well, this one is a bit of a missed opportunity, and that honestly makes me sad because this TT, just from the face of it alone has potential. This new TT now finally has what the old predecessor sadly didn't have. The... Actually, it has the caliber. It has the... It has the capacity. If you... What I recommend Audi do is take this engine out. Actually, if you're buying a TT, don't buy this one. I'd recommend you wait and buy the TTRS with the better sounding, with a better sounding engine straight from one of the Audi's motorsport division. So yeah, if you want a TT, 
that's sporty actually that's good you can carry your children and um, be a good sports car then keep your money and buy a TTRS all right so that is my opinion on the TTS do you guys agree with me do you guys not agree with me Comment down below what you think, but for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually exit out of this track, and I should think, yes, we have actually completed our driving marathon, which means we get, uh, we get ourselves a new car, so hopefully this is a good car, uh, and it is a, oh, yes. Yeah, baby, that, ladies and gentlemen, is a Jaguar F-Type GR3. Now, first thing that's got to be said, we're obviously going to take this for our next race. Well, next and final race. We are going to take this car out. And holy hell, this car actually, on this track, actually gives it an extra... Actually, it gives it, like, 791 brake horsepower. I mean, my God. And by the way, as well, this is just... You saw, guys obviously saw me get the car. But, um... Yeah, this is, like, a sort of first impressions. On this thing. Hopefully, it's good. Oh, good God. It sounds... It sounds glorious. It sounds glorious. It looks brilliant. Because it is bloody brilliant. Okay, first thing. Obviously, I think this is the... F-type, uh, I think this is obviously the sporty version, like the S, I think, the F-type S, or F-type R, that's what it is, F-type R, that's, that's what this is, this is obviously an F-type R, because why else would it sound like it has a meaty V8 engine, and obviously the V8 engine is absolutely superb, it is a brilliant V8s, I don't know why recently V8s have been in. Maybe it's because people have finally realized what you can do with V8s. Evidence being the uh, Dodge, the recent Dodge Demon. But getting back to the Jag, this thing has actually great. I've always liked the look of the F-Type because it looks like an sports car now. It doesn't just look like a Aston Martin wannabe like it's actually like the XK does. This actually looks proper blue-blooded real Jaguar. And that's something that we actually kind of miss here at the All Saints Network, we miss old, like, Jags being actual Jags. I mean, I believe, like, Jag sports cars being Jag sports cars. I mean, obviously, the last time I think that happened was, like, the XJS, I believe, in our opinion. But, uh, yeah, now it's a lost, long lost breed. I mean, they get this, they can obviously do the sports sports sedans, but they could. But recently, I don't know why, but Jag's been in kind of a rut when it comes to uh, sporty, uh, like sports cars. They've always been one step behind a Aston Martin. They've always felt kind of uh, soulless, but this, this car, I think this 
It may not, actually, it's not better. Is it as good? Is it better than Aston Martin? No. I'm sorry, but Aston Martin will always hold a special place in every single teenage boy's uh, hearts because it has the looks. Actually, it's just the perfect sports car tied with the uh, Porsche 911. But this car, this comes... You have no idea how close I am to actually liking this over in Aston. But... It's still... But the thing that actually makes me like Aston's more is that Aston Martins were always like this, whereas Jaguar has just recently found their panache again. They've just like found their panache, whereas Aston Martin have always had their groove. It's like the Emperor's new... Well, the Emperor's got... It's like the story of the Emperor's got no clothes. I mean, honestly, he likes the new clothes, but... Yeah, sure, you like the new clothes, but uh, you secretly deep down, you will always find a special place in your heart for your for the old shoes. Okay, for the old clothes. And that's what this is. I've said it. I've said to everyone I know who asked me, Jag or Aston. I've always said it's an easy choice, Aston. Because Aston sports cars are so soulful, they're so alive, they're so, they're so, they have a personality, they have, they're, it's like why people love Alfa Romeos, they are, you can rarely see them as, you, you don't really see it as a car or machine, you see it as an extension, you see it as an extension of yourself, you see it as, maybe a separate person like your best friend you see for me I see an Aston Martin and I think that I've just seen an old friend who's returned from my life after being gone for quite a while whereas Jags they're good cars you've got good cars Jags are well the difference between Aston Martin and Jaguar for me are Aston Martin, as I've said, are like your best friend. The guy who's always got your back and has never let you down and never will let you down. And the Jag is kind of like a new, well, like a re, well, a newfound friend. Will he reflect? Well, is he a good. He, do you like him? Yes. Does that mean you immediately replace your best friend? Hell no. Right, so that's why this works alongside Aston Martin. It doesn't replace it, it wor it's as good as. Actually, this car is not better than Aston Martin. It's as good as. And coming from an Aston Martin fanboy, that's a, a high enough praise that you can get. That's the highest amount of praise you can get from me. Anyway, whilst I've been dawdling, I'm on lap 30 now? Yeah, 30. Wow. And we've got about three minutes until I'm paired up in a lobby with uh, some players. Which means hopefully I need to set a couple of good... Which means I might need to set a good lap time. These will go wide a bit. Go wide a bit into here. Wrong. Sorry, if I was to give this a verdict, honestly, you know what? If I, 
I'm going to give this car a verdict out of 10, which is what I usually do for most cars. Except, wait, I didn't do it for the TT, so... First off, the TT, I'll give the TT a... A 5 out of 10. It's an average... The TT is an average car for me. It's kind of like, an av like a run-of-the-mill average sports coupe. The Jag, though. This is our... Eh, the Jag is more difficult. Do I, com do I compare it as an Aston Martin? Or do I compare it as a sports car? Do I factor in everything about this? Like, I don't know. That's why the final verdict... You know what? I've got a number. I've got to figure it out. I've got to figure it out. The final verdict... For the Jag F Type GR3, anyway, the final verdict for this F Type is a 7 out of 10. It's a good car, it's a really good car. And once you start to actually get the hang of it and get used to it, you, you can actually probably try, you can actually win. A lot of races with it. But if you want a but if you want a good British sports car, what I would advise is keeping your money. What I would advise is keeping your money, saving up for the newest Aston Martin, the DB11, which when I'll be doing when I'm doing my actual Gran Turismo full game videos, if the DB11 is in it, I will be covering that extensively because this is well, the DB11 is probably one of the most important cars. Well, one of the most important assets I've ever made. But, anyway. Besides, once the full game comes out, I will be, I would probably do a review of the DB11 if it's in. I mean, what do you guys think? Uh, would you like to see, What about you guys? Do you think you would like to see that? Would you like to see the... Actually, a review for the... Deep... For a, leave a comment down below saying, like... If you want to see it or not. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are being matched up. Well, we have been matched up. And let's see where we are. We are... Dang. We are 17th out of 18. So we're second to... So we're starting off in second to last. Am I the only one in an F-type? No, there's a... Uh, actually... Driving Ivan, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh oh. There's an AMG GT GT3. An SLS. Another AMG GT. And the, f and the one I'm worried about most of all. Gamboa 27. Why? Ferrari 458. Italia. All of which are ahead of me. So I don't have high hopes. Well, I don't have that high hopes. Anyway, let's get out onto the track. See if I can compete with these cars. And if not, then I'm buggered. I am really bugged. Then I'll really be buggered. Whoa! Four five eights. Four five eights trying to be a drift car. Did that just? You saw that, right? That just changed gear itself. This thing just changed gear by itself. That is strange. Okay, AMG GT. 
Get out of my way! Hopefully I can actually make some overtakes with this thing. If I can, then should be interesting. Anyway, yeah, 17th out of 18 start. I am starting off this race 17th. Well, I am starting, ladies and gentlemen, my final race in 17th place. So this should be interesting. This should be interesting. So I don't have high hopes. I don't have high hopes. All I want is not last. That's all I want. I, would, I just want to not be last. I think that's the goal of everyone, isn't it? To not uh, last. 20 laps, though. For this track. It's kind of the... Uh, oh, this is what... That's... This is a lot of people. This is a lot of people going wide. This is a lot of people. Two tracks, too narrow tracks. Well, oh, we got we got a lot of people actually going off the track. Well, go, getting spun out. Wow! Holy hell! Holy cow! That was a big crash. Okay. Somehow, by the power of magic, I've made it up to 10th place. Well, make that 11th, make that 12th. But still, I've made it to 12th place. How's that possible? How is that possible? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, no, no. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. God damn it. Whoa! Third place got... Wrecked. Hopefully I can gain some places back. Whoa. I'm in 16th. Over token one. So I'm one place higher than I was at the start, like, very, very start of the race. Any luck. If any luck, somebody will bound to mess up. It's Grand Turismo, I'm pretty sure people have messed up, but... Five seconds behind the guy ahead of me. That's no good. That's really not good. I need a GTR. I may not be doing too bad in this, but I need a GTR. GTR is when I... Yep. The gap's increased to 8.5 cents. Gap somehow decreased from this... From one corner to another. Gap's pretty inconsequential. It's just increase, decrease, increase, decrease.
Okay, wait, 15th is... What's wrong with 15th? Is he... Okay, so I've gone up to 15th. Not bad, not bad results. Wait, what? What's going on? 14th slowed down. Fourteen, Mr. Vet over here has slowed down considerably, actually. Okay, power, 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 power. Hopefully we can actually finish this race. It's a short enough race, so logically speaking, we should, right? Eh? Again, my goal of not last has been achieved. I do believe. See, yep, everybody finished up. Wait. Yep. No. I did not finish last. I started off second to last. I made up two places. <sighs> it may not be the best, but uh, hey. What can you do? Besides, I'm surprised that Ferrari didn't win. Well, then again, I'm not really surprised because Subaru, four-wheel drive, Ferrari, rear-wheel. Mm. Four-wheel drive would have had more traction. So, yeah. The Subaru winning. Congratulations, Mr. Tomiro Kwai. Congrats, man. Earned my respect. Uh, good racing, good race. Uh... Apart from my control, well, apart from my control of disconnecting, that's per well, apart from the wheel disconnecting, not really, that's good. So, you know what? Uh, good extensive review on the F-Type. The F-Type performed pretty well in that race. Uh, I'm not saying that, I'm not pointing blames at it. I'm not blaming it or anything. It's uh, my own fault. I didn't win, so... Anyway, uh, that I think is going to be the end of the live stream. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, then be sure to leave a thumbs up button. Actually, leave a like. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So until then, peace.